Hi guys, so I just got to the salon. This is how my hair looks right now, and I have no idea what I want to do to it yet. I just um, want it a little bit shorter, probably to my shoulders or a little bit past my shoulders. But um, yeah, I'm going to be vlogging the whole time, and um, I'll see you guys in a bit. So this is the aftermath. It's definitely a little bit shorter than what I planned. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to catch my hairstylist during his lunch break and just bombard him with questions for you guys. And so that you guys can meet him too. Hi guys, I just got back from the salon after dyeing it blonde and everything. Um... So this is how it looks. Uh, I'm going to try to go in the sun so I can show you guys, but I'm going to be really squinty because it's so sunny out right now. Do you see the color? So here's a little Q&A video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I have Bruce, my hairstylist, and he's going to be going over... Um, a few things a few about things. The, your hair and what we did to it. So, well, first, obviously, the color and the cut was one thing that we did to Ruth because she had a lot of long, really long hair. When with she no layers. With no all. layers when she first came to me. And first, we cut it off pretty, I would say... Like a, a lob. A, yeah, a lob. It went up to here. And you guys can see that in my... Uh, my clip right after the first clip where I said I was going in for a haircut, the second clip where I came out with my dark mocha kind of lob, lob hair, like look. a long bob. And now it's a little grown out, but all her layers, how we cut it, it grows out to her layers still being at the bottom, and that's where you see the nice texture, and you see how the color separates from the brown. Um, now, the hair color itself, we decided to call it a bronze sunset with hot honey highlights. This wasn't an overnight process, as you'll see through her videos, is it was a gradual change. We didn't want to over damage her hair and over process it. So we took it one step at a time. First we did a nice brown with a few highlights. Then recently she came back in and we added more highlights. And this is what we call the golden sunset. Uh, we did a halo around the top so it could fall and frame her face and either way she pulls her hair like Ruth here always does different styles and different makeup looks. Love changing it. <laughs> so she's always changing up her hair so the way I placed the color was that way if she wears it a certain way on one day or different day another day she will still have that versatility. That's one thing that I was so scared of getting highlights because not only did it damage my hair so much, the first time I got highlights when I showered, my hair would get so stretchy. It was because it was really, really damaged. damaged. That's and over processed. Um, another thing I noticed that when I did buns or like low ponytails and stuff, I would see like where the highlight started and where the highlight ended, and yeah. that was not a cute look. Not a cute um, look. I'm really glad that everything just flows very nicely. It's just melted right into my hair color. Like I still have my natural hair color, still have some brown tones, and I still have some of that really sandy blonde kind of color. Yeah, really but like. you don't see where it starts or where it ends. It's just like a mesh of color. And if you could turn around, Ruth, that way people can kind of see it. For sure. A little bit more. You see that no matter. You see the highlights, they blend. You don't see like lines or stripey. That's the way I place her color was in the halo. You can turn back around. <laughs> but, you know, that just lets it fall very nicely towards the face. So whichever way she pulls it, if she wants to wear it to this side, to that side, up in a ponytail, she could do that and you'll never see where it starts or where it ends. So that's always a good thing. And the integrity of the hair is actually really well. Like, doesn't feel damaged, doesn't look damaged. She takes really good care of it. I tell her all the time styling is key to any hairstyle, any haircut, color, anything you do. So to maintain its healthiness, I don't really use um, hot tools that often anymore. Um, since we did use a little bit of bleach, which he, yes. he has this great solution where it's really not 
full on bleach and yeah. it really doesn't, it doesn't do damage your damage hair as hair. much but it will get it light super it's fast it's his own secret recipe which I have no idea what it is and it's gonna stay a secret <laughs> <laughs> so what I do is I usually he gives me a blowout or I do my own blowout and usually that would last me about you know, three or four days before I have to blow it out again. Um, I don't really use a lot of hot tools, like I said before. No straighteners, no irons and stuff. But if I do, I only um, take a little piece like this and I just wrap the end around the iron. Not not the end end, but like three-fourths of it like that. And it just gives me this really wispy, textured kind yeah. of look. Just because of how he cut the layers, it's so easy to make it look textured without doing so much to my hair. Right, and... Even with that said, she doesn't even have to style it sometimes. She could just wear it down, just put a little bit of product or anything in the hair. That way it seals the cuticle. Um, but very versatile. She could do a lot of things with it. And I tell her not to use a lot of hot tools. Always use a product beforehand when you are damp, when you're drying your hair with the blow dryer. Always have some type of product in the hair. That's going to keep the integrity and the healthiness of the hair. Like you're not going to see anything like wispy or dead ends. And on top of that, it's going to hold your style for a day or two because she blows out her hair when I blow it out it lasts a good two days and then wash it off and repeat so that's the way to actually keep your hair healthy and the color in longer so he works at the uh, super kiss location in Huntington Beach um, so if you guys want to come visit me I'm there all the time I work there as a full-time staff so you guys come visit me I would love to do your guys's hair and as you can see from Ruth I do a very good job <laughs> so you guys want um if you guys have any questions, questions you yeah. guys can if comment you, down below. If you want to come see him, I will list all his information down below as well. And also, he's starting a YouTube channel. I am. So, um, you should subscribe to him because he will be uploading videos fairly soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see this hairstyle look, I can definitely do a tutorial on it. And um, stay tuned for this makeup look that was inspired by Jennifer Lopez's Golden, golden, golden globes, Globe. golden yeah. globes. So you look yeah, stunning. You always look stunning. I love it. You're so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. All uh, right, bye guys. See you in my next video. Thank you for watching. You have to blow them a kiss. Oh. Is it recording? Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs>